Okay, welcome back. Now we're going to be talking about uh, domain and range. So the main things that we need to remember about domain, a domain is going to be all the possible x values. Okay, and then range is going to be all the possible y values. Okay, so we're going to go through the basics of what you're going to see on that star test. Uh, so uh, if we apply these um, hints that we're going to talk about right now uh, to solving problems that you look at, just like over here on these six that we have right here, then you're going to do just fine. All right, so first off, let's go ahead and start by doing a box on your paper with me, just like that. We're going to make a what we call a three by three box. Okay, so then over here, we're going to write uh, greater than. Okay, and over here, we're going to put less than. Okay, and that makes sense, right? The top one is greater than and the bottom one is less than. Okay, then we're going to uh, put a open circle over there and we're going to put a closed circle right over there. Okay, so greater than we're going to say is going to be uh, just like that. And then if it has a shaded in, we're going to have add it's going to be with a line or if it's with a line it's going to be shaded okay if it's going to be uh, without a line it's going to be open or if it's open it's going to be without a line right and then less than uh, looks more like an L if we forget right this uh, looks more like an L than that so we're going to think less than is with that so if it's open it's going to be without the line or vice versa if it's without the line it's going to be open and then of course you can think if it's uh, has the uh, shaded in then it's going to have the line underneath okay so that's what you want to keep in mind on uh, part of that for this answer to Today. And then we remember Dolor the robot if we forget the, the directions of each. So Dolor the robot remember uh, reminds us that D stands for domain. Okay, the, the domain uh, goes from L for left and then R for right. Okay. Okay, so dolar uh, domain goes from left to right, and our answers are always going to have that x value, right? Because we said it's going to be uh, x values for domain. Okay, we're always going to point to the left. Okay, and then we decide: do we add a line underneath there or not? Okay, do we add a line underneath there or not? And then we're going to have a number over there. Okay, so here's what we need to think about. Okay, what's going to go into these right over here? Okay, and then what's going to go over here? Okay, so we always remember it's going to be X for the domain. Okay, so similarly for range, we're going to think uh, do robot. Okay, so range is going to be, so that goes from B for bottom to T for top. Okay, so range goes from bottom to top, dolor, uh, domain goes from left to right. So similarly, we said it's going to be the y values. Okay, we're going to say that these always go to the left. Okay, for those, and then we're going to think about, are we going to add the line underneath there? Are we going to add the line underneath there? Depending on, as we talked about, if we're going to see it shaded in or open. Okay, and then we're going to have some sort of number over here, and we're going to have some sort of number over there. Okay, so the main thing that we need to remember is that the y value is going to stay the same. It's always going to point to the left we're just going to ask ourselves what do we put do we use just the regular symbol or do we use the or equal to symbol okay so keeping that in mind let's go right into some answers questions okay so i know on your we do uh, this is actually maybe asking for just the domain or just the range we're just going to do both just so we have a better understanding of it okay so let's just follow this example first we said for a domain we know it's going to have the x so let's go ahead and put a d there for domain we know the x is going to be right there in the middle okay so then we're just going to uh, we said it's from left to right so here's what we're going to do go ahead and draw a line okay from the farthest thing that you see this function on right so that's the farthest thing where I see it's drawn on okay that's the left and then I'm gonna put one for the right okay so all the way to the right okay so now let me just think about those numbers that I went through the negative 4 goes right there okay on the right side 4 goes right over here okay we said it always goes to the left but now let me think okay so this is shaded in so right here next to the negative 4 I'm gonna put a line Okay, right over here it's shaded in, so next to the positive 4 I'm going to put a line. Okay, and now that is my answer for the domain. Okay, I'm going to think the same, similar thing for the range. We said range, okay, is going to be a y value. So we're going to put the y value in the middle. Okay, we said the these are going to go to the left. Okay, so now range is from bottom to top. So I'm just going to put this in a different color just so we can see it maybe a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to look at the lowest part that this goes to. So this... And this actually are both the same 
lowness, right? Same depth. Okay, so I'm going to just draw a line that goes right across from there. Okay, and then to the top. So I'm going to go to the highest point. So the highest point is going to be right over there. So let me just look at those numbers that I have. So the bottom part, right, we have is this negative 7. The top is going to be that negative 1. So negative 7 goes over there. Negative 1 goes over there. Let's go and see. This has a shaded in, so I'm going to add a line next to the seven, negative 7. This at the negative 1 has a, it doesn't have an open or a, sh a dot, but if it doesn't have anything okay this is critical we're going to just add a line because we're going to assume that it goes through there okay so that's a seven right there okay so that's our answer all right so we're just going to draw the lines from domain from left to right range from bottom and top we're going to look for those numbers okay wherever it crossed and those are the numbers that we're going to put there and then just going to determine from our chart that we made okay whether or not we're going to use the um, shaded in or uh, open okay so let's take a look at this one over here all right let's just keep going all right so first we're going to do the domain then we're going to say the range all right so domain we said has the x going to have the left and the left going both of those all right so domain is from left to right so we're going to draw a line on the left and draw a line on the right Okay, so this is going through negative 9 and positive 10. So negative 9 over there, positive 10 over there. This one has a shaded at the negative 9. We're going to add a line. This one has an open, so we're going to leave it just like that. Okay, that's it. Range. Um, we are going to say, once again, range is going to have the y value in between. Okay, we said these always go to the left. We said it's from bottom to top. Okay, so let me just go ahead and change this color just so we can see it a little bit closer. We know that's the bottom. Okay, now a common mistake is to think this, right? But it actually goes all the way to here, so that's why I picked that one. So let's go ahead and choose those numbers. This one goes through 0 right over here, okay? And then this one goes through 11 right over here. Okay, so we're going to say 0 over there, 11 over there. This one does goes right through there, so it has a line over there. Okay, so this one right over here has an open, so we're going to leave it just like that. All right. All right, right over here. So uh, we have a D for domain or R for range, all right? So pause the video, see if you can get this on your own. All right, hopefully you paused it. We're going to say domain is from is from left to right. We can even put an L to R right over there, right? So that reminds us to go for, draw the line. Sometimes if we don't draw it, we're going to get the answer wrong. All right, so this goes through a uh, jury poorly but that's negative 5 right and then this is positive 8 so we're going to say negative 5 right and we said x is in the middle and then positive 8 we said they always go to the left on um, this one's open we're going to keep that this one's open we're going to keep that all right done okay range all right so range we said the y we said it's always going to go to the left now let's go from bottom that's going to be negative 9 right top uh, top, a common mistake is this, right? What it's not, it's going to be up here. That's going to be positive 9. Okay, let's look. At the bottom, that goes right through it. That's shaded in, right? So we're going to say shaded in. This is shaded in. We're going to say shaded in. Answer, done. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, try this one. Okay, you know we're going to put D for domain. We're going to put this R for range. Okay, domain we know is from left to to right okay so from the farthest to the left that number is negative eight right negative eight we know let put to the left we know x point to the left and then we know farthest to the right is going to be 11 okay over here it's open over here it's open so we're good okay range we know is from bottom to top right so bottom is right over here that's at negative eight we know it goes to the left we know y goes to the right now the top a common mistake is to think three or even four but those are wrong right it goes all the way up to here that's seven right and it goes all the way up to seven so now let's look over here it's shaded so we're going to add a shade at the line it's at uh, the eight right over here negative eight i'm sorry they're going to add the, over there at the seven done all right last two and see if you can get these two okay these are ones especially that you may see on that think about it, at least if you can get the domain or range all right domain we said was from left to right okay so if we notice over here this keeps going to the left okay this arrow right over here keeps going to the right okay if it keeps going all the way to the left and all the way to the right we're going to say that's all real numbers Okay, the domain is going to be all real numbers. Now, think the same thing on the range. We said the range is from bottom to top, right? From bottom. So this keeps going down to the bottom, right? So that has that circle uh, arrow. This top 
keeps going up. So this is also all real numbers. Okay. So uh, this is when we have arrows. Okay, I'm gonna put that in different arrows. Okay, arrows. Keep that in mind. All right. Hopefully, you, I know your teacher has talked about that. All right. Let's talk about this last one right over here. Think of see if you can get this last one on your own. All right. We know domain range. Domain we know is from left to right. This keeps going to the left, right? It keeps going to the right. What do we say? That is all real numbers. Boom. All right. What about the range? Range. This one actually goes down as low as that, right? So that's negative two. We're going to put that over there. And then we said it's Y, right? And then what about the top? See, a common mistake is to say th three, right? But it keeps going up. Common mistake is to say even eight, but it keeps going up. So there's nothing over here, right? Because of the arrow. So we can actually switch it. We can put the Y over here and then the negative two here, right? And here's the main thing. We know it's pointing at the negative two pointing at the negative two so we're going to keep it pointing at the negative two then do we add a line yes we're going to add a line we would add a line there we'd add a line there and so that is our answer all right so go ahead and put those in and then do those on your own